In this video, we're going to explicitly look at a game where in the laboratory, players do not play the Nash Equilibrium. The name of this game is called the Ultimatum Game. So here's the game. At the start of the game, player one is given $10. Okay, I'll put a little 10 here, and this is player one. What he does is he has the opportunity to offer any amount of that $10 to player two. So I'm gonna draw this kind of an extensive form game, but instead of drawing all of the branches, I'm just going to draw something like this. And this means he could offer anything from zero to 10. Okay, and we'll say the amount that he offers is R. So player two can either accept or reject the offer. So if he accepts, player one gets 10 minus R, player two gets R. If player two rejects the offer, they both get zero. We'll call it D, because R is the offer, so D means he'll deny the offer. Okay, so what is the Nash equilibrium of this game? Or the subgame perfect equilibrium of this game? Actually, the subgame perfect equilibrium of this game, let's say player one could offer uh, in penny increments, is for player one to offer one cent and player two to accept. In that case, player one's payoff, so this gives him a payoff of $9.99, and player two's payoff is a penny. And the reason we see that this is subgame perfect is because if player two denies any offer, he gets zero. So as long as the amount that player one offers is better than zero, it would be in player two's best interest to accept. Okay, so now you can imagine if you were playing this game, what would you do? What would you offer? And at what threshold would you reject? What laboratory studies show is that for offers, so offers less than $3 are often rejected. So, of course, this is not a subgame perfect equilibrium for player two because, as we said above, player two should accept any offer greater than, greater than or equal to a penny. So, what does this mean? It can mean one of two things. Well, it can mean multiple things. One could be that players don't really understand the nature of the game, which is probably not necessary, which is probably not the right explanation in this case, because it's a fairly simple game. More realistically, the accepted intuition is that players have a preference for fairness. That is, player two, if he thinks that player one is being unfair, he is willing to forego say maybe a penny or a dollar payoff to kind of stick it to player one and say, you're not being fair to me, so neither of us are going to get anything. What this means is that there are probably some other cognitive processes that are going on in the decision maker's head that are not explicitly modeled in these payoffs. So this is the nature of the ultimatum game, and yet it's just another example of when we put players or put people in a laboratory, we see them not playing the Nash equilibrium. In the next video, we're going to look at one more example of how players don't play the Nash Equilibrium in the laboratory.